the letty, what happens when I let the air in? In three, two, one. Look at that! So our video today is going to be split into three parts. The first one we're going to be having a look at is obviously the chip hack versus the real things. Um, we've got a few interesting ones to see for that. The second part of our video today, we're going to actually see what happens to a bag of chips in a vacuum chamber. Now you might be surprised by the results in this. And I've seen a few other creators do this, so it should be, should be quite interesting if it works. And finally we're going to have a look at real food versus the flavours. So this flavour here is chilli heatwave. We've got a few other chip flavours to try versus the real food. So for our first hack here, it's going to be once you open in your bag, you've had a few chips, mm. very nice, and then you want to close it again. There's a hack where we can actually close this off without using anything, just the bag itself, and apparently it's really strong. So we'll test it against these chip clips. Now these are quite expensive, these here cost me £12 for four of them. So if this works just as well as this, it's quite a good little hack. So let's give it a try. So obviously we've got half a bag of chips here, which we haven't finished, which is probably the least realistic thing about this life hack, is that I'll leave half a bag of chips unfinished. Uh, realistically, I'm just going to eat the whole bag. But that being said, you just roll over the top like that, and it does catch the air in it. So maybe take the air out first. There we go. Roll it over a few times. Down to the chips, I guess. Okay, that's fine. And then what you want to do, you can see the back there, and at this point, we're going to sort of fold over these two ears on the side, and then use this bit as a sort of rollover thing. Is that locked in nicely? There we go. That sort of worked. And now, it is holding. So we've got them both in place. I've got to say, it looks pretty decent on both sides. Um, let's just give them a shake upside down and see which one comes off first. So we'll start with the normal one. So let's see what happens. So we'll give this a shake. Okay, so in three, two, one. Okay, almost immediately, it started to come out the top. That's not great. So we've got a hack one here now. Let's give this a try in three, two, one. So it's come undone on the one corner, but nothing came out. That was pretty good. So I definitely think the hack works slightly better, actually, than the clips on those ones. Yeah, pretty interesting. So moving on to our next hack, I'm sure you've all seen Crazy Russian Hacker try this one before. One of his early viral videos. Basically, what we're going to do is take a, a bag of chips here that's just been opened. You can see we've got our Doritos in there. Um, and what we'll do is we'll roll up the bottom, like so. And you're sort of creating a, a base there with the roll. Hopefully not crushing too many chips in the process. And you essentially, that is a little bowl there. And yeah, you can see that does work quite nicely. Um, it's not that complicated, is it? It's just a bowl. Um, but yeah, I quite like the presentation of this. It looks quite interesting. You can grab your chip. Now that being said, let's test it against just a normal bowl and see if it works better or worse. So let's fill this bowl with some of these ones. Let's just say you're, you're walking in a party. Uh, you know, chatting to your friends, you know, hey Bill, hey Bob, you know, saying hello to everyone, schmoozing all the people, you know, and you're sort of being all smooth and suave, and you just walk past the table of chips, and you just graze past, let's say, the bowl first, so you're like, you're walking, doo -doo 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 -doo. Whoop. ah, okay, you didn't embarrass yourself, you didn't have to leave the party, no one minded anything, right, let's try the same thing on our uh, hack version here and see what happens. So you're just walking along, walking, walking. Ah, oh, the hack one is good, but obviously you've got to bear in mind that, that, that this is not all that stable as a, as a shape, whereas a bowl is a heavy object. It's not really going anywhere. So moving swiftly on, this next one definitely requires a little bit of skill-based matchmaking. Um, you have to do a little bit of craft here, but it looks quite fun, uh, to be honest. Uh, I, I quite like the idea of this. So what I'm going to do is show you this now. Basically, you'll be able to eat these chips without getting your fingers dirty at all. I know that's usually a bit of the fun part of eating things like the, uh, like chips, because um, then you can sort of lick your fingers afterwards. But this apparently is a technique you can use to make sure you never get that again. I don't know if you're playing uh, playing on your computer or something like that. Don't want to get your keyboard all greasy. Um, you can use this. So what you need to do is grab your uh, obviously your chips and a pair of scissors. And all we're going to do is cut the corners off of our bag here like so. But you have to make sure that you haven't cut the open the top yet. That's really important. So what we'll do is we'll cut this corner here just like that, nice and uh, simply, and do the exact same on the other side. And now, this bit in the middle, you just cut across. Okay, so now I've got our bag that's opened. Obviously, you can see there. And all we're going to do, sort of stand this up for a minute. I'll just put that on the side. And then all you're going to do is take these pieces, for some reason, flip them round 
like so. You can see it makes like a little uh, hat. And we'll do the same for this side. Just around like that. Move those out of the way. Okay, so we've got these two. <laughs> I think you can guess what we're gonna do. Then basically you take it on one hand. <laughs> You take it on one hand like that, and then you put it on your other hand like this. Um, <laughs> this feels incredibly silly. <laughs> and there you go. And now you can grab your chips after you've done a whole five minute craft video. Um, and you can grab them out just like that and eat them. Let's give it a try properly and see how they work. So we've got our fingers in our little hat things there, you can see. Um, just try and press them in so they don't keep falling off. Let's try and grab our little chip here. Okay, so it does work. It does obviously grab on uh, without falling off necessarily. Let's try it. Mm. I feel like it kind of ruins the experience of eating the uh, the chips though. Honestly, part of it is like you get to feel the texture of the food with your hand before you actually try it. It's kind of like if you decided to eat, eat your Doritos with like a, a pair of chopsticks or a fork or something like that. You don't, you're not touching, uh, touching the food. Something about chips, something about handling them uh, and again, getting all the sort of dust and stuff on your hands is quite nice. Oh, yeah, and see, I missed my mouth completely there. <laughs> That'd be embarrassing if I got, if I got that on camera. <laughs> mm. I'm not that keen on this one. Let's try it without. You see, to me, that just tastes nicer. It's so weird to explain. Try it yourself and let me know in the comments if you think that tastes nicer um, using your hands or these sort of weird little uh, finger glove things. So this last one is by the OG Dave Hacks himself. Uh, this is where I first saw the video and I think quite a lot of people have sort of copied it since. Basically what it does is he takes this, uh, the sort of, this opening thing from Baby Wipes uh, and places it onto the bag here. And apparently it's quite a little nice trick to be able to open and close the bag really simply. So let's do it and see how well it works. Obviously he showed in the video that it works quite well, but I want to try it for myself. So apparently this is just held on with a bit of double-sided adhesive. So let's see if we can get that off. Okay, there we go. So that came off way nicer than I even hoped. So we've got it there, and it's even nicely now got some adhesive on there for us. We might need to add a bit more. So again, we've got an unopened bag of uh, chips here, and you can see it's got the sort of sticky stuff on the inside of that. We're just gonna place this onto our bag, hopefully in the center. Okay. So is that stuck? Okay, that's actually stuck on quite well. So there we go. We'll open this. And now what we need to do is just cut that out with a nice little, uh, uh, Scalpel, so let's grab that. We've got a sharp scalpel here. If you have a sharp scalpel like this, it makes it very easy. And there we go, look at that. <laughs> oh, that is good, look at that. There's our chips, we can grab one. Hey, that works pretty well. Obviously when you're done, you close this up just like so, and that should seal our chips. It's a bit difficult to close, because unlike the baby wipes, which is quite a hard surface to press against to close it, the bag kind of just is filled with a bit of air and chips. So it does kind of squash the chips in the process, but once it's closed, there you go. It's sort of closed, there is some air getting through, but uh, in the meantime, while you just want to open it again and grab the chips, that's not too bad at all. Yeah, I quite like that one. Yeah, I approve of that, very cool. So swiftly moving on to the next part of our video, I said to you at the beginning, we're gonna have a look at what happens to a bag of chips in a vacuum chamber. That's exactly what we're gonna do now. So we've got a vacuum chamber, at least two thirds of a vacuum chamber here. Uh, and I'm just gonna show you exactly what happens. We'll turn it on. There's a slight thing we need to do to our bag of chips to make it work. Um, and I'll explain to you that now as I set this up. What we have to do before we put it in the vacuum chamber is basically puncture a tiny hole into the bag anywhere. What this means is as this, inf as this basically will start to inflate as the pressure outside gets lower than the pressure inside. Uh, essentially what will happen when we let that air out is it will crush all the chips into a tiny little uh, space and you'll see exactly what I mean in a minute. So let's pop a hole in somewhere that will reseal afterwards. So there you go. That is a hole in our bag there. I don't know if you can see that but we, we do have a hole in our chips. So our first bag popped because the hole wasn't big enough. So I've reinforced either side uh, and made the hole slightly bigger. So hopefully it won't pop this time but let's see what happens. Okay, so it is inflating a bit. So let's see what happens when I let the air in in three, two, one. Look at that. 
Whoa, look how strong and it's gone. So if you remember, we put that tiny hole in there. As all the air rushed back into our chamber, the, the air can't basically equalize quick enough inside the bag and it essentially just crushes it. Obviously, as the air now has been allowed to get in that hole again, uh, it's sort of gone back to normal size. But yeah, that's initially why we see that sort of crushing happen. And if you do it just right, it can sort of seal off the hole so you have a permanently sealed bag of chips. Yeah, pretty interesting stuff. Go check out the Action Lab for an even better version of this. He explains it better than I can too. So for the final part of our video today, we're gonna be testing the real food versus the flavor of the chip. And we'll see which one's actually better. So obviously we're starting with flame grilled steak. So we've got our steak here. Let's cut some off and try it first. Mm-hmm. Tastes like a slightly overcooked steak. Right, we've had some of the steak. Let's try the flavor of our chip. So you can see it's flame grilled steak. Let's see. Let's see if it matches up and then see if it's better. Mmm. You can hear how crunchy these are. These are one of the OP chips in the UK, honestly. The flavor profiles sort of match up like a, a Venn diagram, but there's not a huge amount of overlap. Yeah, it's pretty good. Out of these two, um, I think I do prefer the actual steak on this one, even though the flavor is nice. It just tastes, uh, there's just something more sort of real about this, obviously. So next up, we've got crispy bacon. Uh, and again, if you know, you know with these, these are kind of OP uh, crisps in the UK again. Uh, I remember these from my childhood, used to have these all the time. I'll show you what that looks like. You can see it sort of, if it focuses, yeah, it sort of just looks like a piece of bacon. So there's the, uh, there's the two compared to each other. That's the bacon versus the frazzle here. Uh, let's try the bacon first. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let's try the frazzle now so you can see. Let's see what this is like. Mm. This does have a strong bacon flavor, right? But next to real bacon, it actually doesn't taste that strong. Oh yeah. This is good, but definitely the bacon wins this one. Right, so that's everything for today. Obviously we saw we covered quite a lot of interesting topics there. Um, let me know in the comments what you wanna see me try next. Uh, again, I love reading all, su all your suggestions. And uh, because we're doing so many of these longer videos, hopefully one every day, um, we should be able to cover a lot more ground. So let's see how we go. Uh, and I will be still posting my short content. What I'll do is I'll also cut this up and post their short videos. Uh, and we'll be making specifically a short video very soon today actually too. So look out for that. Uh, it'll be a similar sort of topic. Uh, yeah, so I think this is this is quite interesting. Let me know if you like this format, if you want to see me try sort of a slightly different format or, or generally whether you're, you're into this new uh, way of making videos that I'm trying. So yeah, that's it. Very cool. Yeah, yeah.